Hi, this is Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we help individuals to achieve freedom through expert mortgage and financial strategies. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notified on all of our future content. In today's video, I want to talk about a article that I read. Uh, the article is titled, More Americans Are House Rich, But They're Leaving That Cash in the House. And it's by Diana Olick, and it was on MSN Money just yesterday. So um, I watched the video that went along with this article and read the article in depth. And really what it talks about is the fact that right now, in uh, fall 2019, American homeowners are sitting on more home equity than they ever have in the history of the United States. And the issue is that they're not actually tapping this equity. So it's sitting there and it's completely um, unused. Uh, the thing that really gets to me is at the same point, we see a lot of Americans struggling with living paycheck to paycheck, having issues paying bills, record levels of credit card debt right now. A lot of people taking out a lot of debt in other areas, but they're leaving that equity in their home. So it really brought me back to thinking uh, many years ago, I read a book called Missed Fortune by an author named Douglas Andrew, who's a well-known financial advisor. And that book was actually written before the financial crisis and recession. And it talked about the same type of thing that, you know, people have all this equity and that they're leaving it in the home. But Douglas Andrew, the author of the book, talked about the fact that if they just understood that they could use this equity to invest in assets that would give them a rate of return, they would actually have a fortune, in many cases, a seven figure multi million dollar fortune but they miss it all because they're wrapped up in the fact of keeping the equity in the home and building that nest egg in the property. So I want to take that paradigm shift for a second and look at where we're at today. So again, people have record levels of debt, yet they've also got record levels of equity. What if they had the paradigm shift and they took some of that equity in their home and invested it in their debt? and increase their cash flow on a monthly basis. What would that mean? They could turbocharge their retirement, pay for a child's education, invest in other opportunities. Uh, as we've talked about in other lessons, what if they were to take some of the equity out in, of their home and invest it in other properties? What if they were to actually take that money and put it into a 401k retirement plan, uh, cash value insurance plan, or any of these other uh, opportunities that they have? So uh, as we see here in the article, just in the last year, the average homeowner saw their mortgage, uh, or excuse me, their home equity increase by 4.8%. And based on the average uh, equity in the property, that's $4,900 in home equity gained in just the last year. Now, in some areas of the country, they've seen equity on average go up 20 or 30,000 or $40,000, depending on the area. So it really doesn't make sense to me that people are leaving all this equity there because the statistics of how much equity is based on an 80% loan to value. So it's based on keeping 20% equity in your home. So when we look at what happened during the financial crisis, people were able to borrow 90 and 100% of the value of their home. And that's why the mess occurred where people couldn't sell their house or they were underwater on the value of their home versus the value of their mortgage. Well, now lending standards are a lot tighter. The maximum loan to value on a cash out refinance, other than a veteran's administration loan, right now today is 80% of the home value. So what that means to you is even if home values dropped 10%, God forbid, or even 15%, you'd still be in a position where you don't owe more than your home is worth. So as the article talks about, the reason why a lot of people are not looking at their home as a way to leverage a financial asset and do these things is because of the negative connotation that, of everything that happened back in the recession and during the financial crisis. But we need to get out of that mentality. That was 10 plus years ago now. Times have changed. Mortgage guidelines have changed. The economy's changed. So while I'm not advocating that you tap all the equity in your home because you technically couldn't do that even if you wanted to, I am recommending that if you've got 10, 20, 30, 40 plus percent equity uh, in your home, that you at least look at what options are available to you. You look at what opportunities you may have. Get with a mortgage advisor. See if you could po uh, possibly reposition some credit card or high interest debt. See if you could tap some equity to pay for a college education, turbocharge your retirement, or just lower your overall monthly payments. 
Um, there's a lot of different options that you have with a good mortgage advisor. So I think this article really should be a wake up call because as I've talked about in other videos as well as in my book, home equity has a 0% rate of return. What I mean by that is your home value is going to go up or down regardless of how much you owe on your mortgage. The value of your home is based on economic factors in the local market, not whether you've got 100000 in equity or not whether your mortgage balance is 50000 or 150000 Your home value is going to go up or down regardless. So when you have that shift in your mindset, I think you'll see as a homeowner the opportunity for wealth that you may have that you're actually sitting on and not being put in a position where you're going to miss out on the fortune that's right there in the walls of your home. So I hope that this has been insightful for you. I hope you'll share this and I hope you learned something. Please go ahead and comment below. Comment, reach me on social media or by text or phone if I can be of assistance to you or anyone you know. Take care.